Hello, today we're going to be dealing with series circuits and parallel circuits. And we're going to actually build uh, one of each circuit today and uh, just give an example of uh, how one of them is simpler and the other one's more complex uh, and maybe some of the pros and cons of uh, each circuit. So uh, come on, let's build some circuits. All right, here we are again, and we're going to build a simple circuit or a series circuit, and we're going to use four red wires uh, with clips on the ends. We're going to use a little six-volt battery. You can get it at any local store. Uh, they're relatively cheap. And then we're going to use uh, three of these lights, uh, and you see there's a screw or a terminal on each end where we can hook the wires to. Uh, so that our current or electricity can go through that. All right, in a series or simple circuit, it is really just as it says. It's very, very simple. You just take uh, the end of the wire and you connect it like so onto the light. And then in a minute, we're going to hook this end to the battery. Uh, grab another wire. You want to hook it onto the other side, the other terminal on that same light then we're just simply going to repeat this on the other two lights, like so. And uh, we're going to, we'll mention some of the uh, disadvantages to uh, a circuit like this. Um, it's uh, simple and easy, but it's also got some disadvantages to it. Um, I know Christmas lights are sometimes a little different today, but I uh, used to, and uh, some of them still do. Uh, you know, what happens sometimes to your Christmas lights on your tree or that you have on the outside of your house as decoration if one of the bulbs goes out? Well, the whole thing will go out and not work, and that's one of the problems with this kind of uh, uh, circuit. All right, we're going to take our wires now. We're going to hook them up to the battery. I hook this one to the negative. Now I'm going to hook this one to the positive. And you see our lights come on. Now, like I mentioned about the Christmas trees or uh, uh, the, your Christmas lights you use to decorate your house, sometimes if one light goes out, what happens? The whole circuit goes dead. Uh, this kind of wiring uh, is really it's typically why it's used in things like Christmas tree lights, stuff like that, because uh, it's not as dependable. I mean, I know you would probably feel the same as I do that you wouldn't want one light in your house to blow and then the whole circuit's gone, uh, which our houses are not wired that way, our cars are not uh, wired that way, but uh, in a simple or series circuit, that's what happens. Uh, it's easy to build, simple, uh, but has some uh, disadvantages to it that uh, uh, allows it to not be used uh, that often. So, all right, that is series circuits, and we're going to uh, uh, here just a second take a look at uh, parallel circuits. And it's just a little bit more complicated, but it's a lot more dependable. So, we'll take a look at that. All right, welcome back to this part. <clears throat> this is uh, the second part. It's uh, parallel circuits, a little bit more complicated, uh, but a lot more dependable. Uh, and You'll see why in just a minute, if, and then you'll have to remember back to our simple or series circuit that we did. All right, for this one, we only need three red wires to use, but we're going to add three black wires to use in this one also, using the same three lights and the same uh, six-volt battery. Now, instead of in a, the series circuit, we just jumped from you know red wire from our battery to this pole, red wire went from this pole to the next light pole and so forth. This one is called parallel for a reason. We're going to take, for instance, this black wire and just uh, connect it to one side of our light. Now, we're going to go get our second light. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to hook it on one side and take our other black wire and just kind of connect it where both of these are touching uh, to this wire and then hook it to the third light on the end 
Now, I'm going to hook it here so we can plug it into the battery here in just a second. Um, like that. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the red. If you kind of get the image or picture of what we're doing, uh, it's going to be parallel because basically black's going to go down one side and red's going down the other. So we're just connecting this on this side, same as we did on the other side. Okay. I'll bring it around here, we can see. I'm going to hook my to my end here. Now, I am going to take my black wire, plug it into the negative. Now I'm going to take the red and clip it onto the positive. Now, you ought to instantly recognize and see a difference in these lights compared to the series uh, simple circuit we did first. These are considerably brighter, a lot brighter. Uh, you've got two wires basically running to each light uh, instead of the one that you had in the series circuit. Now, something that is very beneficial uh, to parallel circuits is, which is unlike the series, uh, if one of the lights goes out, the rest of the circuit continues to work. You have a good circuit still. Uh, you could have two lights go out and the circuit still works. Um, in the uh, series circuit, if you would happen to unhook a wire, every light would go out, but not in a parallel circuit. If one of the wires is broken, then part of the system will still work. And that's a great benefit over a simple or series circuit. So, I'm glad you uh, watched this video. I hope you learned a little bit about simple series circuits and a uh, little bit more complex uh, parallel circuits. And uh, thank you for watching.